Good evening and welcome to the Diva Stadium, or this season as it will be known, the Swans Way Chester Stadium, for rather surprisingly, the opening game of the Blues season. After all of John McCarthy's pre-season preparation, he'll be just as disappointed as those Chester supporters who had their whole weekend planned around the trip to Solihull, only for it to be cancelled due to safety concerns 24 hours before every other team in the division kicked off. But here we are, Chester welcome newly promoted, deep-pocketed AFC file to Cheshire for the first time since 2011. <laughs> And the season is underway for Chester. It's thrown into the penalty area. It's attacked by Paul Turnbull, who gets ridden. There's a volley. Oh, and on the roof of the net. That was a brilliant strike there from Sam Finley. First time right foot. Just over the crossbar. And the first real attempt at goal comes from the visitors. Good passage of play that from Chester as Dawson brings it forward, looking for the runner back in Tunde. And there's some space here. For the young lad here, Zach in Tunde now. He's got White in the area. He's posed by Langley. Marn. The Irishman fancies his chances. He puts the ball in towards White. And it's actually Paul Turnbull who gets his head onto it. And it's a new man. who signed from uh, Barrow in the summer. Couldn't quite connect with it as he would have wished. Just over the top of Reese Turner's goal. Halls. Took his eye off it for a moment. The legs of Jones and Chester will build down the left hand side. Here comes Lathaniel Roturner. Bit of argy bargy in the middle between James and Muldoon as Roturner puts it in there towards Akin Tunde who hit it brilliantly with his left foot. A round of applause from the home support, but that was a cracking ball in from the new left back. Akin Tunde just couldn't divert it towards Reese Taylor's goal. Down the line. Tonicliffe with the header. Played by Halls and Harry White's going to be onto that. Again, he's in a race with Langley. This time he's faster than him as White continues his run and it's a brilliant stop by Reese Taylor who made himself big. That's the former Wrexham keeper who keeps up the new chest in number nine. Maybe Paul, Paul Turnbull to take the corner. He puts it towards the back post. Kingsley James is in there. It's back across. John McCoon might go for it. He doesn't. And the Coasters get it away for now. It's a brilliant layoff there by Johnny Smith. And here comes Jack Muldoon. He's faster than all the Chester players. Halls gets across now. And here's Johnny Smith at the back post. And it's off the line by Nathaniel Rotena. Brilliant defending. In fact, did the left back get a touch on it? The officials don't think so. The ball just trickled wide. Either way, Rotena got back. Taylor's kick in towards Rowe, who's won that header. And it's fallen kindly for Jones and it was Smith making the run ahead of him instead. Sam Finley's on the overlap into the penalty area. Finley across the face of goal and it's turned in. And it's a newly promoted side that take the lead. And it's Jack Muldoon, the man who scored here last season for Lincoln. Comes back to the Diva Stadium to give AFC Fylde the lead. Finley gives it away to Marn. Akin Tunde, a bit of space to run into here for the young man. Turnbull, James, looks ahead for some movement, but continues to run here, the chest number four. James will get it back, he continues into the area, it's pulled across, Dawson, there's the equaliser! A minute after going behind, it's Lucas Dawson with his first goal for Chester. No changes to report at half time from either side. Around the corner to Marne. Kingsley James, whose determination earned Chester that goal, and that's a good pass to Akintunde, who gets into the area, continues his run, lays it off for Dawson, who scuffs his shot. Oh, and it was a poor connection by Lucas Dawson, but a good start here from Chester as the ball comes in from Halls. White, surrounded by three orange shirts, but gets a shot off with the left foot. Oh, and it's inches wide of Reese Taylor's right hand post. Brilliant strike by the new Chester number nine. It's a little bit too much on it. Good start to the second half by the Blues. Good hold up play there. Danny Rowe thinks about the shot, does have the shot. Oh, brilliant effort from Danny Rowe. He can file again. A wave of orange shirts comes forward. Francis Angle gets a ball in towards the penalty spot. Here, Assels. 
Shout from around the ground there as the shot comes in. Oh, brilliant right hand. Great save there from Connor Mitchell. Debut performance. Good shout from Andy Halls. Bell will challenge that. He couldn't direct his header towards Ross Hanna, though. Turnbull can direct his, though, towards Jordan Chappell, who might fancy his chances through the middle here. He plays in behind. Ross Hanna in the penalty area. Keeper comes off his line. Oh, the angle was too tight. Ross Hanna holds his head in his hands. Chester fans furious that the referee didn't give a foul for the shirt pull there. Ross Hanna did absolutely brilliantly to run in behind Josh Langley there, and sadly the angle was against him. Dawson puts it through the middle, looking for the run of Ross Hanna. But on the wet, slippery surface, the ball just had a bit too much, and it'll trickle through to the goalkeeper for AFC Fylde, Reese Taylor. And that's the last action of the game here at the Swans Way Chester Stadium. The final score on the opening game, of the delayed opening game for Chester, is Chester FC 1, AFC Fylde 1.